All right, I think I've mourned enough. Lights! Oh, back to it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus. Last reaction to Vinland Saga was tough, man. We saw the fall of Thors, and I'm, I don't know how it's going to affect everything, but I feel like it's really going to cement in the show. And now the possibilities are endless because uh, Thorfinn is on this enemy ship about 15 feet away from the man who gave the order to kill his father. So I don't know how things are going to develop from here because I, I feel like he's literally just bloodthirsty for Askeladd right now. If if you're new to the channel, make sure you drop a sub. Don't miss this journey. And let's hop into it. Oh, shoot. Wait. It's supposed to give us the money. Is is Thorfinn going to see Floki? Or even in reverse, will Floki see Thorfinn? The troll's son. Oh, well, they're there. He could escape inherently, I guess. I think Asquad just expected him to die on the way. Dude, it's so pretty, man. I'm surprised he even has the strength to run. Oh, buddy. He knock out? Oh, he might get left behind. They said they're just resting. It's nighttime now. They might stay overnight, I guess. If someone here finds him. Running water. Running water is that stuff you drink, baby. He was so thirsty that just drinking water made him tear up. Oh my gosh, that was blood curdling. Is Asquad's men like like rampaging this town? Oh my gosh! Uh, what? He just got giant ears so he can hear where everybody is. Just pillage every place they go to. And we saw when Floki met with them. Yeah, these guys are just maniacs. No, I I don't think like I said at the end of the last one, like Asclad could be redeemable, like as a character, and maybe he has like an arc. I don't think so, man. And then they just sleep, like nothing happened. He's gonna go for him. <gasps> oh shoot! And he sleeps, and he's the only one that sleeps like inside. Oh no, he's gonna get caught. What? Does he want to use a giant blade? Oh my gosh! I don't even know if he has the strength to like throw that bad boy down. Are we even like 100% that's Asquad? <gasps> he left. Oh, he was awake too. Does he know he was in there? Oh my gosh, why couldn't he do it? There was a noisy fly in my room. He did know he was in there. I wonder if he was... You're challenging him? I wonder if he he didn't care if Thorfinn killed him. Like he was like paying for his crimes. Oh my. Dude. That is an interesting, like, he's an interesting character. So like I said, it's like almost like he knew he like deserved it inherently and he was ready for it. He just yawns and goes to sleep. Oh, this is so sad. Oh, wait. I could still see him, like, mate. No, I don't see him being the type to, like, take a kid under his wing and, like, train him. Asquad and his men are, like, just too evil. Oh, they're not even gonna see Floki. They're just getting the money. Big payment. Dude. Hmm. I wonder why Floki would ask that. Dang. So I thought he had like some respect for him. Oh. The straight bone. Uh, they're, they're pieces of trash. They're not going to give him anything beyond that. What's wrong with him? Oh my gosh, bro. Dude, Thorfinn has to find someone that's, like, on his side. He's so far from home, too. Oh, no. Are all those even, like, edible? He came looking for scraps. Bro, this is so depressing. Cut Thorfinn some slack. Oh, God. Oh, Bro, I can't stand Ilva. Even her mom's like, what the hell? Oh, my God. 
Oh, man. Oh, there's a plot line to follow. Leif looking for him. They're all like, hey, shouldn't you be worried? Is she just, are they like worried because she's like lying to herself? At least she's helping her mom, like cooking for her and stuff. She is staying strong for her family. She's doing all the jobs and stuff. Dang, she is staying on track. She truly is the daughter of Thor's. Just like a freaking Swiss army knife. What if she wanted to go to sleep first? Maybe she's like distracting herself from the fact that it happened. Oh, I feel so bad now. Oh my gosh. I feel so bad now. Oh. <laughs> What thought? I wanted to know like Thorfinn's thoughts as as he was standing over him. Like it was just like, a prime opportunity. Yo. Oh. Oh. Is that Bjorn? Is he getting more mushrooms? He's naive. His way of life. <laughs> he, you're just weak, bro. He's like a kid. He's tiny. I wonder if he's gonna stow away with them wherever they go next. He's alive? Hmm. He is a survivor. Oh! Ow! Hello, brother. <laughs> it probably wants the bones sit next to him, too. Oh. He's taking a lesser map from Ascalad already? I, he's just. Oh! He didn't swing it. He just stuck it in front of it. Oh my gosh. Oh, bro, I'm so weak. I can't watch this. Oh, I hate animals dying. Oh, he's got food now, at least. I mean, at least this place is pretty. I cannot imagine how hard it would be to catch a freaking rabbit, bro. Oh, smart. Actually, when you throw a knife, you're supposed to hold it by the blade. That way it's not top heavy when you toss it, when you let go. Actually, I don't know. Dude, the soundtrack is like, it's because you had Christopher Nolan vibes. Like, god damn. He got a rabbit. Nice. So I can see after it dies, but not the process, bro. He's growing as a fighter, as a hunter, as a human. Oh, they're leaving. This is his last opportunity. Oh, he's come to challenge him. He's going to challenge him to a duel like his dad did. Dang. He still stands no chance, man. <laughs> he's just, just going to put Thorfinn in the dirt and then leave. Oh. I accept your rule because I have no choice. Oh, man. I mean, they're leaving. This is his last chance to do him. Who knows when he would see him again? He's swinging. Uh, he's swinging pretty wildly. He looks a little bit more impressed, though, by him now. Okay, some solid swings and stabs and whatnot. Oh, that's about what I expected. Dude, Thorfinn was probably like amping himself up and everything too. He's literally leaving him in the dirt. I don't think he'll die. He just kicked him a bunch of times. Oh shoot, the rage. <gasps> it was a bait. Damn. That's why he trained to throw it. Oh my gosh. We oh, caught him off guard for a second though. Imagine he had killed him. That would have been crazy. He's gonna leave him. Achieving something great. I think this was great to him. Oh, they're gonna fight again one day. Oh, shoot. It's setting it up hard. I'm surprised he even gives a kid that much respect. I, I mean, I guess it is because he did kill his father. Whew. Well, the question is, can Leif find him before he just dies to the wilderness? But I mean, this is England, no? Like, there's probably more towns, like, miles and miles and miles out. Towns more fortunate than the one that Asgard and his crew found. But I really like the development of the show and where it's going. Because it, I, whenever it sets up overarching narratives for us to look forward to and, like, characters to return one day, I don't know, it just adds that much more oomph behind the show. And it, like I said, it's going in a completely opposite direction of where I I thought I was going, which was going to be Thor 
Morris and his family and their journey to Vinland. But instead now it's just about this kid who's all alone and it's like his revenge path, his revenge arc and how his father acted and how he's going to go down that same path that his father went down where he's going to be faced with, you know, I'm guessing like war and fighting and everything, like the real world. He's not with his family anymore. He's just going to be out here all alone. And Askeladd even said the only way for him to get that duel is to earn himself or to earn the duel on the battlefield. So he has to inherently partake. Like I said, something Thor's never ever wanted and he's probably like rolling in his grave from it, his fresh grave. But dude, that scene with Ilva was tough, man. I really do feel bad for interpreting it in the way that I did right away, but it's because we know Ilva's character. She's always been very like, I don't care. I don't care about anything. So whenever it happened right away for her dad, I didn't really put it past her to be like that. Like I, I was like, oh, that's just kind of how she is. But it really did break her and she tried to just throw herself into everything to take away from the pain that she was feeling. And I'm glad it did because it, dude, I mean, you lose your father, the one that, that took care of you for so long, that cared so much about you. It's gonna break you, man. But guys, that's been it for my reaction today. I hope you did enjoy. I'm enjoying the hell out of Vinland Saga. Drop a fat like on this one. It does help me out quite a bit and I'll catch you next time. Peace, peace.